everyone and welcome to this week's video. This week's video is going to be an arty style vlog. So it's a Sunday for me when I'm filming this. I'm going to have a nice relaxed arty day and instead of producing a specific video I have quite a lot of preparation and smaller art things that I want to get done so instead of making a video just about creating them I thought I would vlog what a typical Sunday would look like if I am up to arty things. Mm. So the first thing I want to prepare for is the fact that it is Inktober. Well it's October coming up but in arty terms it's a challenge called Inktober. I've never had a chance to participate in this. If you go by an academic year which is September to September or September to October um, October has always been super busy for me for, I don't know, the majority of my entire life because that's either when I've started uni, started school, uh, started my PhD in October. It's all just been a month where I haven't had enough chance to do it. And I'm imagining that next October will be super busy again just because I'm, I'll be, oh God, I don't want to say it, but starting my third year of my PhD by next October. So I think that this is probably the best October to try and be able to do this challenge. So this challenge is to ink something every day and there's a series of prompts but I'm not going to follow the prompts because I am using this for something else. Recently I met Chris Riddle and one of his advice one of the advice that he gave is just to draw what you love. And I love drawing marine life, so that's the reason I draw marine life, but there's an aspect of my drawing that I have ignored because it's something I find difficult and something I would need to put a lot of time into to make it serious, but something that if I'm perfectly honest would be what I would prefer to do. And that is kind of like a cartoon style of drawing to be able to make personalities from the species I see because I go out and I personify everything but when I come to paint it I'm more of a realistic painter in that it's my style but I paint what I see but I'd love to be able to put my own cartoony spin on it. So this October every day I will be drawing something marini in the style of a, a cartoon whether that just be a quick fish with some cartoon eyes or a bit of a mini comic strip, depending on how much time I've got. But every day I will be trying to do that. So if you have any suggestions of any species you would like to see cartoonized, cartooned, cartooned. If you have any suggestions of any species you'd like to see cartooned, please leave me a comment. Follow me on my Instagram and Twitter um, and, and tweet me or comment on there. I won't be posting a video every day in October, I don't have time to do that, but I will post a video when I have filled up uh, the absolutely gorgeous sketchbook I have for this challenge. And I'll, But I will be posting to my Twitter and my Instagram every day, so if you want to make sure that you're keeping up to date with what I'm drawing, how well I'm doing, or how much I'm failing at trying to draw in a cartoon style, um, then make sure you subscribe and follow me on that. I'm just gonna vlog my day but first and most importantly before we start any of this before I start any of my arty days um, I have to be honest I've already gone one stage further than I normally do I have got dressed even if it's just in leggings and a hoodie normally I'm in pajamas but who wouldn't be in pajamas on a Sunday if you're not in pajamas on a Sunday are you really having a good Sunday Anyway, when I do art and I actually have time to sit down and dedicate to this and so out, I like to not only just have a normal cup of tea, I like to make myself, I like to have my fancy tea. <laughs> While that tea is brewing, let's talk about art supplies. I went to my art shop this week, 
it's actually a place I've been avoiding because I knew as soon as I go in I'll fall in love so I haven't been to the art shop well not the one I was thinking of and then I went in and fell in love so yeah that's that's the bank account gone I think forever now for them, till I leave now that I know I'm so close to an art shop but anyway I went to the art shop and got this it is a drawing pen drawing pen no it's like a it's like a nib nibs for ink and nib holders and I also have some inks myself so this is uh Winder and Newton ink it's waterproof which means that you can draw and then paint over it which is uh very handy oh it's not wooden it just looks wooden it is plastic which is fine Woo. so it comes with eight nibs in total because you can't change the size it's just like having eight pens really i think it's just a box how difficult should it be to open and these are all the different some sketching pencils for later on but i think i'm gonna i'm gonna run with the inks first because i'm too excited just standard sketching pencils from 2h 24b i'm going to pretend i know what these mean i know all i am all knowing about pencils Honestly, you always need, this is one of my favourite parts of my week, if I'm drawing inside or I'm not going rock crawling, if I'm spending a couple of hours doing art, then making tea in a teapot, which is one of, my, yeah, one of the best parts of my week. with the nib. Ah, uh, uh, two future ink users that don't use ink very often. One, get ink in your hands. And two, uh, see this? It has like a little mini line in the middle. Big nibs go at the top. <laughs> Nowhere near the line in the middle. Don't do it. Don't need to. Doesn't make any sense. out the different nibs. I'm just gonna plug my headphones in, listen to some music and draw just from Google Images, just going searching through Pinterest or Google Images or whatever, some cartoon eyes and noses and ears, just so I can get used and comfortable to like knowing just that and see where I go. <laughs>
nothing is as tediously difficult to try and master as I remembered but it's fun uh you get covered in ink but it's good and yeah cartooning I think they came out much better than they would have done when I tried a couple of years ago because I used to try and draw this kind of style when I was a teenager all the time and got fed up because I didn't do it um so they came out a lot better but it's one of those things where you know that practice is just going to make it it good like which is what the point of ink tiber is so. so the other thing that i need to prepare for and start doing is something that has just fallen accidentally around the same time as october it is a six week one month five week course it's a couple of week course run by the university of newcastle in australia and it's called just reading it now uh, drawing nature science and cultural and culture natural history 101 so this is something that came up and i just couldn't resist having a go over it at the weekend and trying to see if i can do it and just see what a course like that is and also i don't sketch with pencils and it's a lot of pencil sketching so i'm hoping that this will help and and do that so today i'm doing the first week of that course first task get to know how to use pencils sounds simple but i haven't sketched with pencils in ages so i'm gonna sit here and work out tones and stuff and so god this feels like proper art again <laughs> getting with the pencils i've looked at the rest of the course for this week and it's just uh sketch around pencils and some other things about talking to the rest of the, the gang that are doing it online uh so i've done that and so i'm not gonna practice sketching anymore i, I need i need to but it's something that maybe i'll practice a little bit every day i'm remembering why i don't sketch it's because it annoys me too much i very very much like black and white lines and I can do shading with dots and lines and stuff that makes sense to me but when you start using different pencils and things I don't know I if it doesn't make sense to me it just annoys me that I can't like do it um which is hilarious really because I have infinite patience when it comes to I could spend four days drawing with fine line pens and it not once bother me in fact I get quite addicted to it I quite like I really like drawing a bit and then I sketch for 10 minutes and I'm like mmm there's no black in this this doesn't make any sense why can I make it how can I make it smooth so I'm going to make the most of still having quite a lot of the afternoon left uh to draw some stuff and there's some photos I need to sort out for uh, a competition I want to enter so that's going to be the rest of my day you're getting to see of that commission i'm waiting for the art masking fluid so it's uh a rubbery type material that you paint on so if it's if you want to paint a background over something and then you rub off where the rubber was that it will just reveal color so that's a really bad explanation it's basically so that you can paint a background and leave the bit that you want to paint on top of the background white but this is a commission for someone so i don't want to show any more because uh, i want them to be the first ones to see it and say if they do or do not like it fingers crossed they will like it and hopefully it comes out good british ecological society is having a photo competition although i primarily draw i have taken pictures of rocky shores and uk stuff for years since i could had a camera and since it was a kid so I have tons of pictures saved up and it's not like something I have time to go out and take pictures for but there are a few categories that I'm hoping that 
I will be able to enter and maybe see if some of the pictures go, but I need to see what the, remember what the categories are and see if I have any pictures that fit it. By the way, this shot's, this comes up Wednesday, this shot's Friday, so if you guys want to enter, you can enter until Friday at 5. Friday at 5. As you can see, I have hundreds of Rocky Shore pictures. So I am going to trawl through them and then let you know what I pick. Okay, so I've got a few images that I think are half decent that, you know, might be worth a shout. Um, let's have a look. I'm not sure if it counts as ecology, but I think this is quite good for the art and ecology one. It's all the shark's teeth I've collected down the beach. No one can hate a puffin, can they? Um, I've got to put one in with barnacles, haven't I? Let's be honest. And what else? I like that one. I love this picture because he just blends in. And this picture, even though it's not Marini, I f even though that picture's not Marini, I find myself being very jealous of the bryophytes that live there in that case because it's just so pretty. So um, Yeah, I think a couple of them I might put in. Yeah, we'll see. Now not Sunday, it's Tuesday evening. Uh, the commission I was working on kind of got away with me on Sunday and then I forgot to finish the vlog or do stuff so I still have a few arty things to get done and then I need to edit this so um, someone's ordered a print so I'm going to do that I'm going to submit my photos to the apology competition and, and then that'll be it <laughs> if you want to check out my shop and get your hands on one of these prints too much rounds up the vlog i hope you enjoyed following me along on a chilled arty sunday and a bit into tuesday evening because you know who doesn't owe it one on their plans but i will see you guys next week bye mm.